She's my younger sister. Nobody knows yet what happened. And we are trying to speak to the police, but they keep telling us that they will call us back. And then nothing. My mother is distressed. It is her only daughter. She has enough sons, but that's her only daughter. In the come, in a statement issued to the media late yesterday afternoon said that the allegations are that the deceased was to be the object of a personal search. They wanted to search her and she requested privacy for that search to be conducted, which was agreed upon. Now, during that search, it is reported that the deceased produced a firearm, which resulted in a shooting incident. A chrome and black 9mm Luger was actually recovered from the scene. Wow. So the relatives of Latoya Monte, the 34-year-old woman who was fatally shot during the alleged confrontation with the police moments after 6 p.m. on Monday in the Kingston 10 area, are insisting that she was murdered contrary to information that was released by the constabulary. So point and shoot baby point and shoot. Okay, listen So you may have seen these videos before and if you have it's because you're probably on my other channel Which is SoFlo TV on YouTube? Watch the video if you haven't seen it before and leave your comments in the comment section below and for those of you who have seen the video before Then thank you for watching again. It means that you are supporting both my channels like comment share subscribe These are things that we say but they're actually really, really, really important if you enjoy a format and you want to see that format grow. You're going to like the video by giving it a thumbs up. You're going to comment on the video. But that says that you are here, you're participating, you're interested, you're going to share the video. How else would we get other people to know that we are here to join you in these conversations? And it's like, comment, share, and then the most important you're going to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Just hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell that is next to the subscribe button. The notification bell is very important because when I upload new videos, you will be notified. You can hit that button, but then you have to choose. There are choices. There's a choice that says send me some notification. Then there's a choice that says send me all notifications meaning send me a notification for all his videos if you do not hit it YouTube will actually only notify you sometimes and those sometimes might be once per day once per week when we upload multiple videos per day so like comment share subscribe leave your comments in the comment section below and thank you for watching again it's SoFlo TV on Brainflow TV, I'm out. Peace. So there was an altercation between this woman and police officers in Jamaica, and she ended up dead. So the police is a tersely worded statement issued yesterday said that Monte of Maxfield Avenue in Kingston was fatally shot during a confrontation with the police at about 6.50 p.m. on Monday. June 29th in East Bloomberry Road, Kingston 10. The statement said a chrome and black Luger CZ75B pistol with eight 9mm rounds was seized during the incident. The police have said that the matter has been reported to the Independent Commission of Investigation or Indicom and the Inspectorate and Professional Standards Oversight Bureau of the Constabulary. In other words, then, it has been reported to higher authorities who are, at the moment, looking into it. Now, the part that grabbed me was that she is a British citizen, or so it was said. So it led me to go do some research, because there are... Rumors out there, people are saying that, oh, she, she bad from she there, England. Be a drugs man she love and bad man she love. And she was in trouble in the UK too. Go look her up. That one comment alone sent me searching. All right. And I'm going to tell you what I found. Not saying that that makes her guilty of anything. I'm just saying 
what I found. So, the distressed relatives of the deceased woman, whom they yesterday described as a nice, normal, young, single woman, who was enjoying her life and would not harm a fly, said the police were concealing what truly took place and have accused them of being secretive and reluctant to answer their queries or even speak to them. In other words, the family is saying the police not speaking to them at all, not answering any of their questions. They said that the shocking news of the death of the cherished sister and daughter came to them in the dead of night after it took place, hours after it took place. One of the deceased brother, Kevin Monte, told the Jamaica Observer that when I went and identified the body last night, I was told by the police sergeant that it was sometime around 2.30 in the afternoon. An altercation between my sister and a taxi driver on Hagley Road, Hagley Park Road. The passenger in her vehicle was a male. The passenger, they said, pulled a gun on the taxi driver. The taxi driver drove away, made a phone call to the police that someone had pulled a gun on him and gave them the license plate and Ray Ray, Ray Ray mean, gave the police the license plate, gave the police the description of the car, told the police in what area he was in when the gun was pulled on him, which leads me to that, because there's another comment out there that said, and I thought it was a rumor, but obviously it's printed right here for people who read this particular paper would see this. It was about a confrontation between a man and a man that was in her vehicle and a taxi driver that was driving their own vehicle. The man she was with alleged the man she was with pulled a gun. The comment that I saw out there was this. Shifty talk the truth. The man pulled a gun. The taxi driver drive off before him could have fired no shots. Taxi driver set police upon him. Police find them. The youth run away and leave her. That's what happened. But how are the police saying though? This is my question. How are the police saying that she pulled the gun on them? Hmm. So there's a bag of mix up a go on, you know. Because take into account British citizen and all this other stuff. So the police drove through the area, which is Richmond Park and Hagley Park. And in the evening part, them buck up the vehicle. Them pull over the driver and them say she buck a gun upon them. And them shoot her and kill her. Them claim said them have the gun. Her brother told the observer. He said that however. He was later told that his sister had exited her vehicle. And that at the time of the fatal incident. She was alone. Which begs where was the guy that was in her vehicle. And I'm also asking, was she killed in the vehicle? Was she shot in the vehicle? Or was it an um, altercation involving her and the police while she was outside of the vehicle? Hmm. So she would have to be standing. Picture this in your mind. She would have to be standing outside of the vehicle, right? With a gun in hand. Out in broad daylight in the street. Now this is a brave girl. But this is the scenario that they have put out there. So it's for us to think about and to sift the sense out of the nonsense. She has lots of sons, but this was her only daughter. So you know, it hit hard. The stories we are getting, it sound like murder to us, says another brother, Leon. My sister was a British citizen with a Jamaican father. She lived here and Jamaica for the last three years. She was a nice, normal girl, and she was shot and killed by the police in Jamaica, and that doesn't make sense to us here. So, this brother, apparently, is speaking from the UK, and he is saying to the observer that my sister is a British citizen with a Jamaican father. She lived here in the UK and in Jamaica for the last three years. So for the last three years, she's been moving back and forth, you know, between Jamaica and England, just flexing and enjoying her life, like they said. I saw a comment which has turned into a rumor as well. 
people are saying stuff like she never up to no good because she leave good good England where there are so many opportunities for her for come Jamaica come mix up with Strege and mix up with dirty people and now look where it get her and I thought to myself like wow people make all kind of comments on social media but yeah for just take them sometimes and do as you will so you're trying to tell me now that they are searching this woman she don't want to take a street side search and have our business outside so she asked for privacy right by right a woman should search a woman request for a female cop to be there that kind of stuff so anyway she during this search could it be a case of the man that pulled the gun on the taxi driver actually gave her the gun to hide and him run maybe him run because he has run-ins with the law already and if them come they're gonna know who he is you never know so could it be that and she hid the gun on her person and as they were searching her cause she never expect forget search right and as they were searching her then buck up on the gun I, I'm, I'm very interested to know how this all played out did they buck up on the gun push her off and shoot her or did they buck up on the gun and she pulled the gun in a way to say okay I have this on me and pull out the gun and it's like when them tell you reach for your wallet and or get your driver's license and you reach for your wallet and then in America you get shot up and they say oh it looked like a gun me don't know I don't know but I really want to know the details of this Indicom has appealed to people who may have witnessed the incident to contact the office and provide any information you have available including photos or video footage that they may have we're going to talk about video footage from the UK in a minute it said that people with information about the incident are being asked to call Indicom 876-968-8875 or you can even WhatsApp Indicom at 876-553-5555 if further said the officers involved will be required to provide statements to the commission and to attend its office for interviews the service weapon and the alleged recovered firearm were processed they were boxed and they were sealed for testing at the government laboratory the Commission also said that it will continue to liaise with the family on the investigative process and provide updates as necessary. So let's see where it's at right now. Now as far as that is concerned, Old Spice said, the truth will be unfolded. Hmm, everybody is a saint. Palu Dennis says, this need a dead eyewitness stranger, no sugar coating. Raymond D. Grant said, so this lone female draws a gun on officers. There are so many cases like these. <laughs> Our country must be awash with suicidal persons. Iceman said, there are many cases like this where it is alleged that a female draws a gun unarmed officers I would love if you would remind me of even two previous such alleged cases because I can't even remember one such case before and the man say you must have live in a bubble well I went and looked up some things from the UK concerning her and when I put in Latoya Monte and some more information the first two things that pull up is bloomsburyassociation.org.uk and Latoya who was alleged to be a drug dealer this is me reading from the site this is the British site Latoya who was alleged to be a drug dealer in Bloomsbury Camden and then there's a http www.docdoc.ic.ac.uk and then it says a prolific crack dealer was banned from parts of the London borough of now I'm saying 
a pro prolific crack dealer. She was given a ASBO, and then it goes on to say in another part, for drug dealer caught on camera, the order against Latoya Monte at Highbury Corner Magistrate Court on Friday, 2nd of September. It didn't give the year. And then it says the court was presented with eyewitness accounts and a CCTV footage. And this was from an incident in the UK. So I had to go look up what is a ASBO because I'm trying to find out was she deported from the UK? Why is she in Jamaica? But you know, people travel all the time. They do six months here, six months there, three months here, three months there. If you have the papers and you can do it, then why not do it? You understand? So I'm looking up all the angles. And I went and go look up what the ASBO is because I don't know what it is. What is an ASBO in England? The ASBO is an antisocial behavior order. It is an order that is given by a court to stop a person from behaving in a certain ways or from doing certain things. It's not meant to be a punishment. The idea is to prevent further distress and alarm that's caused by this antisocial behavior. An ASBO is a civil court order. That's what it is. Right? Now, how does that ASBO or how might that ASBO be related to her? Think about the details of what the ASBO is. Then the story about, um, then the story about the video footage and eyewitness and then the ASBO mean, being issued. So an ASBO could be issued to someone who, for instance, you stand on Market Street and 11th Avenue and you are known to be standing on that corner every day. Within your legal right, you can stand on the corner. There's no law that says a free citizen cannot stand on a corner for whatever extended period of time. But if you're suspected to be standing on that corner selling drugs, then the law can issue you an ASBO, which would prevent that behavior. It's a warning to say, stop doing this. Stop coming to this area. Stop standing on this corner. Don't want to see you on this corner anymore. Right? They didn't catch you with any drugs. You are suspected to be a drug dealer. Well, it went on further to say that they did have video footage and eyewitness accounts. So along with the issuance of the ASBO and I have not confirmed 110% yet any of this. I am just giving you information compiled that is out there already. So you can listen to it and see if it makes sense. Granted, it looks really bad in the world's eye. Because somebody is going to say now, there we go, another foreigner got Jamaica got dead, right? And it could be way more to the story than what we actually know. I do find it very suspicious though. I don't think that this girl could have been so crazy, mad out of her head to pull a gun on police officers and expect nothing to happen. I don't even think she would be the type to do it. But I don't know her like that. I'm just guessing. It's out of character for a woman to do it. But doesn't mean that they can't do it. Or they won't do it. And I still want to know where is the guy. And who is the guy that was in her car. Was there even ever a guy in her car. Was she just riding around strapped. Because she feel like say, she got to protect herself when she's in Jamaica. But. Then that would leave the taxi man to be a liar because the taxi man is the one that originally put the police on to them. Description, description of the car, the car's license plate, everything. So the taxi man did see a man pull a gun by his own account and pointed the gun at him while they were arguing. The taxi man drive off fast made contact with police and this is how we ended up where we are now 
Later on, when the police show up, circle the area, circle the area, they recognized that vehicle, the license plate they were given, and she was the one that all this happened to. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. I'm out. Peace.